upset. Can we blame... What's up, what's up, Art? Can we blame the Chinese? Make sure you... Everybody tag my girl. Everybody tag... Take, take, uh, take two editor. Tag her. Tag her up. Take two editor. Tag her in here. Everybody's arguing. They shaking up all oh, Chinese and... Can we be mad at them? Are they only investors? Can we be mad at someone that's investing into our country? Mm. Meaning we are supplying the world with intellectual talent. So something is not adding up here. So we're supplying the world with intellectual talent, but Jamaica is poor, unemployment is high, and we're in debt, and the Chinese and the Arabs and everybody is coming in and buying up land. Why is that? The, the solution lies in the diaspora. So our talent is actually leaving Jamaica to go to the United States, the UK, everywhere else in the world. You can't really throw a stone and not hit a Jamaica. So we're going elsewhere. We're leaving our country. And so the foreigners are coming in now to buy up and take what you left behind. That's pretty much what's happening. When we talk about China taking over Jamaica, they're not really taking over. I hope somebody read the fine print on some of the deals that we're making here. Um, I know for a fact, being a member of the diaspora in the United States, that we have the talent in Jamaica to pull off what we need to do for the country to have infrastructure. So for the government to be looking to China now to say, we need help building our roads. And now China Harbor comes in and strikes a deal. And we can't pay that debt. They're going to take land. And I believe we, the PNP government from as far back as I think Portia Simpson's administration promised the Chinese 2,000 acres of land, prime real estate, some of it protected um, the Goat Islands, I think, was protected, and there was a big controversy about that. Are they taking the goat? I don't know. It's, there's not a lot of transparency where that is concerned. So it's up to the media to keep them honest. So I know that they've gotten some land across from Duns River Falls. I think it's called Waterfalls. I sent the link. Uh, they're, they're older links. Uh, how far back were they? 2012? And then since then, we've had a new government which adopted the, the, the deal that the previous government had and they have to keep running with it. Like I said, I hope somebody read the fine print. So that's pretty much what's happening in, in, in Jamaica. Um, we can't seem to build our own roads, build our own hospitals. We can't seem to do that because all our labor is going overseas. And so now Jamaica is importing labor from China to supplement the fact that we don't have skilled labor. And which angers me a great deal because unemployment is so high high in Jamaica. And so it's about education and training and all that stuff. I just shared an article with you when you asked me to be here. And uh, they're asking for more Chinese laborers to be imported to Jamaica because we don't have any skilled laborers. Where are those laborers? Why is unemployment high and there's no laborers? They're in the United States or that other countries are taking our, our skilled labor. And so now we have to import more laborers. So they, they, they said that Unemployment has doubled since 2007 in Jamaica currently. Um, um, they also Highway. stated that um, they're building a road, in, but they're building, uh, I guess, a highway. And on the highway, it's going to be <laughs> hotels and bars and stuff. It's something in the it's called Bayesian. I don't know if it's the Bayesian road. I just read it today. I just read it today because they were, um, hold on, let me, let me just pull it up real quick. I want to pull it up. I to pull it up for you because this is what they were arguing over. Well, they wasn't arguing over that, but I pulled it up. All right. Do, now, while I look for this, do you feel like, because one of the ladies say to, said today that the Chinese, and I Googled it, they say that Chinese have a, do have, have to have pay a taxes, but one. I don't no, understand they don't, they don't the pay whole taxes. situation. What do you, what I know you that. About, okay. <laughs> 
Oh, no. hold on, hold on. Now. It depends. It depends on which sector you're referring to. So facts? there was a there's a tax haven that the JLP government under Edward Siago okay. instituted in the 80s to attract foreign investment. So a lot of the Chinese who are coming in and opening shops downtown, they have that tax free haven. That and that and that upsets me a great deal. Because I believe oh. that when you give tax incentives for foreign investment to come into the country, it should benefit Jamaicans, not foreigners. And I have a huge problem with that. Mm -hmm. so, so you feel that the problem started from... <laughs> the pro the uh, problem manly. started right after uh, uh, we got independence, to be Siago honest with you. It was like uh, we moved out of mommy and daddy's house and everybody came after us. So, so, so when, when we gain the independence, right, what does that mean, though? Can you break that down? What does it mean for some, you know, what does it mean when, when, when Jamaica gains its independence? How we, much of... How we much are a sovereign state according England to the Constitution. To we make our own laws they release all? and we govern ourselves. Okay. Okay. But, you know, when we hear, when you hear things like that, you still hear that or people assume that the UK I think still the United has, its hand has Jamaica, a bigger hand in Jamaica at a time, than the United it's, Kingdom. It's it's the so think of oh, talking the truth. Oh, 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 you, you want you, you want to drop another link? Like you that. want to drop another link in the chat? Ha, come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have to be careful. Like I, know, that, like, come on. I know. But if I if if I go missing, check the Chinese first before you check the Americans. Hold on, let me let me find this. They, I'm pretty sure if I if I uh, ask for a visa, it would be revoked. And if they granted it to me, I still wouldn't go because I don't want to go missing. I'm very vocal about. So, you think freedom that will speech happen? And what is happening in the world? I don't like it. I think um, my. On a chin, y'all. She is popping on Instagram. I want to interview her. I want to do a sit down face to face. I think that she is magnificent. She's funny and everything. And I think a lot of people get offended. But she really represents the island of Jamaica. And she's extremely passionate about it. And I don't know if it's ignorance with some people. Or I don't know if we want we don't want to accept that there are other Ethnicity, people. Or other, yes. uh, what can I say? Ethnicities? What, what, how can I put it? Yeah, other ethnicities that have strong ties to Jamaica. You know? So, but on the Guardian, right, it says Beijing Highway 600, I guess M is for million, road, just the start of China invested investments in Caribbean. They said that um, stretching some 67 kilometers north to south across Jamaica, the 600M four-lane highway skirt around a mountain wow. and will eventually be lined with luxury hotel restaurants and bars. It's a free market. What well, people right? need to realize is it's a free market. It's about and, to go down. Uh, just as the Chinese can come in and strike a deal, the United States could have come in and strike a deal. France could have come in and strike a deal. Russia could have come in and strike a deal. Anybody could have done this, including you and me, but we don't have the money to do it. We don't have the capital. Why do you think, what, <laughs> what does America have to do with you? <laughs> you, so like, you, you really already got that, that link. Jamaica. Okay, so there's been studies. That, um, uh, not just any people's studies, the scholarly studies and articles and uh, documentaries published on pretty much what happened uh, as Norman, I'm sorry, Michael Manley was doing his social economic revolution. And um, so let me see here. The United States became wary of the relationship between Jamaica and several other communist and socialist nations they mobilized the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, to wreak social, political, and economic havoc in Jamaica. It utilized media campaigns overseas to stifle the tourist industry and is even rumored to have been masterminded behind the Eventitude home fire in which more than 100 old 
disabled burned to death in a nursing home in May 1980. I'm reading an article that I can put in uh, the chat in a few minutes. Um, you know, so there was a lot of meddling by the IMF uh, during that time. And so what happened was there was this jolt in the economic sector where the middle class and the upper class left Jamaica in droves and that crashed the economy as well. Mm. So I'm reading, you know, I see. Um, you know, okay. You know, they they, they shut people down. We start getting to talking. They're gonna the start flagging shot. and everything. <laughs> yeah, I I was I said to him, I said, listen, if I go, who okay, You know, check China first before you know check before checking the United States, and then boom, video shut down. Come on, this is the second live we're doing. I mean, who, I'm not denying. No, no, we don't, we don't have um, but I have. I, are yes, you yes, yes. I am to some extent. Um, are you, are you, are you, I have to be careful it? what I say. I do. Explain. Explain. Like, okay, so mm -hmm. this is my problem. Not a problem, but this is the confusion for me. Um, now, everybody, you guys are saying that what? Okay, some of your phones are saying lag. I don't know. I don't think. Let me let me check. Real quick. Give me two seconds, because lagging means it's some interference. And I want to tell you my problem. Hold on now. All right. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. Some of the phones say lag. I don't know. I don't think. Let me let me check. Real quick. Give me two seconds, because lagging means it's some interference. And I want to tell you my problem. Well, it's not lagging to me. <laughs> Y'all got to fix. There's a delay. Yeah, we're not ex oh, we're not experiencing really? stuff on this. End. I, you know, I, I say to people all the time when they're <laughs> when they're on my comment section, you know, talking about China taking over, and then they have TikTok on their phone. I don't have a TikTok. I don't TikTok. I don't I don't subscribe to Chinese propaganda, and so I don't want them in my phone. I'd rather give my information to Meta than give it to China. Why do you feel like something would happen to you now? Let me tell you. So I tried to invite a couple of the Jamaican artists to my show, Flip the Script, or some the same show I wanted to interview you on. And okay, okay. I wanted them to talk about the, the, the PNP and the no, we, that's that's a taboo subject. We don't but talk about politics. They were very reluctant. No. Uh, you know, in America, you're, you say, I'm a proud Democrat, I'm a proud Republican. You don't go, I'm a proud laborite or I'm a proud comrade. You don't do that. that that's no, no, you get shot. So you try, so you hide, you, you, you're in the closet, basically, as to what your political so, identity is. So what I'm asking you is that even you, you come up here, you say, Flip, look, if I drop bombs, what makes you believe, like, what makes you believe that something may happen to you? I mean, yes. of course, I see you picking up traction. You, <laughs> you official. But how can someone, you, you, you are outside and you're putting in the work. I mean, you know, um, how can someone feel like um, they, they may become a target for the government? There you go. Based off of what, though? Based off of what would you say to make the government, I, the I'll Chinese, give you one example. or American Free Hong Kong. Boom. government target you? Or is it conspiracy? My family just said to me, do not say that. And I just said it. That's one of them. Free Hong Kong. Communist government, yes, from the grips of the once you take once you taste democracy, the there's no going back. That's oh. you know that's one oh. of those things that, that in nature doesn't happen. And so one of the one of the promises the CCP made to the British upon emancipating you know, giving Hong Kong back to China was that Hong Kong would be free to govern itself as a demo, as a democratic. Um, I don't know, satellite state, I don't know. They were supposed to be free. And so the people of Hong Kong are feeling that the communists coming and stifling their freedom. And there are a lot of riots there, obviously. 
And um, if you say what I just said in China, you get arrested. Do you feel like the Chinese government will be mad at you for speaking about the hold on Jamaica? Do you feel that they'll be mad about that? Is that really wrong on their part? Or is it our country that's allowing or because we need some money? We need uh, upliftment. We need, let me see, give me some more words so I can sound fancy. We need- I, I try to we stay need the country to the facts, in yellow the legal facts, the, the historical facts. And I believe if I stay in that lane that I would somehow be shielded a little bit from propaganda. So that's why when I go live or I do a reel, you see me try to steer within the constitution or I try to stay within historical documented facts. There's a difference between facts and opinions. Um, is it a fact that the government of Jamaica has signed several deals with several Chinese corporations that are tied to the communist government? Yes, that is a fact. Are the Chinese taking over? That is an opinion. Why would China... Okay, so... Oh, Explain okay. The yes, yes, the lineage. The and that's important Jamaica. because I, I, you, you, you yeah, so. I realize that there are a lot of people who do not lineage. understand the difference between Chinese people living in Jamaica for 100, 100 or more years and Chinese people who come to Jamaica as part of these development programs or or come in through the economic uh, investment programs to you know, do business. So the lineage. Um, Chinese immigration in Jamaica started around 1856, uh, eight, uh, indentured laborers. There were some Chinese in Jamaica before that, but that's officially when we sort of celebrate um, arrival date around 1856 and that was the they came i think from panama as indentured laborers and the ratio of chinese men to chinese women was about 100 to 4 or 100 to 5. a lot of them did not go back to china after they came so obviously with that ratio they intermarried with the local population being um either of african or indian or white or you know whatever so yeah um, a lot of my family actually don't look like me at all. That, that, that's the funny thing. So when I get this, this heat and this, you know, you, you've seen the backlash of those people and family of those people. And the new arrivals were just coming now uh, from the 80s to now. And what I was telling you before, they enjoy a tax-free haven that we do not. And when you're competing against people who don't pay tax, that is a huge disadvantage. So no. The uptown Chinese people cannot compete with the ones downtown who have just arrived. I think you're, they're given 10 years once they arrive in Jamaica to, to open shop and enjoy that tax-free haven. And after that 10 years, they close down and start a new corporation or a new business and start their 10 years again. So they're, they're, they're taking advantage of that loophole. And, you know, being here in America and being involved in the film industry, one of the things we do when we say tax incentives is it, it's a way of attracting business into your state. And that business is supposed to spread out into the local economy and stimulate it. So the locals are getting work in the film industry like myself. Um, and so when these Chinese people come to Jamaica and they open up shop, they're enjoying a tax free haven. Yes. But are they employing locals? No, they're not. They're not employing locals. They're employing their family. They're employing as, their kids. As soon as they can, they're old enough to count and walk, they're manning a register. Trust me, I've seen it. Um, and then on top of that, they stick together. They have a unity that Jamaicans do not have. And that's that unity that you see me fighting so desperately hard for out of many one people. They come down. They don't even know each other. There are all these different Chinese people coming. They don't know each other, but they, they, they have this little thing and they stick together and then they pool their resources. Then they buy a trailer load of, 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 of goods, like a trailer load of toilet paper, a trailer load of sardine, tin food, 
toilet paper, soap, whatever it is, they buy a trailer load and then they, because now they're getting it at a better price than everybody else. And then they split it up amongst each other and now they're selling things cheaper than the distributor, the local distributor is selling it for. And, and I know this is a fact because my parents had a shop and we had to compete with that. And we're like, how are they doing this? And then we reverse engineer it and then we figured out how they were doing it. So we tried to do it too and it didn't work because again, we, we don't have a tax-free haven. They do. Is China Harbor paying tax? I don't know. Like I said, there's not a lot of transparency where these deal, these back-end deals were being made. There's not a lot of transparency. We rely on outlets like the Gleaner and the Observer to keep them honest. And if they don't publish it, I don't know. And I sent you the link on what the Gleaner said. And there was a lot of things in what the Gleaner said. It was very untidy. The land wasn't valued. It was just promised. We don't know what it was valued either. Uh, rumors are that, you know, they sold the goat islands to the China, China Harbor. Did that really happen? I don't know. It's a rumor, but Jamaicans have a saying. If it not gossip, it nearly gossip. So what are the goat islands? I saw the two little islands. Like, what are they? And I said, I so I read that uh, Jamaica, uh, I forgot who, but they're concerned about mm -hmm. the birds and some of the animals that, that live there and the, and the wildlife. Well, we the have um, some stuff. keys off Explain the coast about of the Jamaica. Goat Lime Key is one please. of the most popular ones, which was the bigger ones. But um, for the most part, these um, keys are not populated, meaning we don't have human structures and settlements there. So the wildlife remains on the island and the indigenous wild, uh, wildlife is still there. And these are considered protected by environmental laws and stuff like that. And so giving those islands to China Harbor is a very bad idea. But why would we, um, hmm. So, this is, and I want to say this right. Can we blame, everybody's saying there's a delay. If there's a delay, y'all, I just checked my phone. Please check your internet. <laughs> They're not going to shut us down, y'all. It's not working. I'm attracting I'm a lot of heat. And my girl, on the I don't know, she may not. You, you you are, but huh, I'm with you. Can we blame China yeah. for seeing? I didn't an know. I didn't know the real that says stop blaming other people. But do we have to problem? blame ourselves as Jamaicans? Come on. Yes. yes. Um, they are very good business people. I saw they that very one. Very smart today. business people, and because they're communists, they walk in unison. They are organized whereas we as a democracy we're against each other constantly and we think that is our strength but to the communists that is our weakness so because they're walking in unison and they're moving in unison and they're organized they see opportunities and they go for it so like i said the imf and the united states is, was, was meddling i'm sorry they were uh, put us in debt so once jamaica ends up in debt here comes the chinese as our great savior to save us. And it's not just happening in Jamaica, it's happening in Africa too. And again, there's a fundamental a difference between people that look like me That's a and fact. people who are actually from China that are agents working for the Chinese Communist Party and you know, companies like China Harbor Engineering Company that are associated with the government. Um, when I see violence against other Asian people in America, I think this is really stupid. And I'm going to tell you why. There are people who do not agree with what is happening in China and they left. And those people include my grandparents. I mean, when I say ran away with whatever clothes was on your back with hole in your shoes, jumped the border into Hong Kong and jumped on the next ship to, I don't care where it was. That's how we ended up in Jamaica. Where is this ship going? I don't care. We're going there just not there. We, my ancestor did not like what they saw going on. They're pretty much, you know, ran away begging for asylum. There's no, loyal, there's no loyalty there. There's no loyalty here either. I have absolutely no allegiance to that country. My, you ask me, 
my identity, I will tell you first, I am Jamaican. The, the descendant part, that's obvious. You look at me, that's kind of obvious. But um, 